The biggest geek good news story of 2018 so far is the blockbuster success of Black Panther. It was a worldwide phenomenon. Plus thousands of African-American kids packed movie theaters to finally see a superhero who looks like them. Now, Marvel and DC are putting diverse characters in the spotlight and even tweaking old favorites. So I headed to San Diego Comic-Con to soak up the inclusive vibes. But I soon learned that for some, the good old days of comics are fading away. So, comic book guy? I am, used uh, to be. Why do you say used to be? Oh, I stopped reading it over the diversity issue. Now, overall, they've been changing comic book character characters a little too much. There's a, a comic book tradition, in a way, uh, how each character should look. I think when they start making Superman gay and you know, uh, uh, Aquaman transgender. It's like, I don't go around and parade what I am, don't go around and parade what you are. Ah, for f**k's sake. <laughs> yes, there's an actual backlash against diversity in comic books. And the movement is led by a super villain. He runs a YouTube channel broadcast from his secret lair slash bedroom closet. Today's video is gonna be about Captain Marvel and how I hate her. <laughs> but he's never shown his face on camera. Plot twist, the boyish lesbian showrunner decided to reboot She-Ra as a boyish lesbian. Who is this evil mastermind whining and complaining from the shadows? <laughs> oh, yeah, you said too much, too much. Yep, that checks out. Meet Richard Meyer. What are your thoughts on the current state of comic books? Comics are kind of, uh... Uh, weirdly dying politics, uh, specifically identity politics being shoved into everything. A character that used to look like a 1980s Dallas Cowboy cheerleader basically looks like me now. We of course are rocking those A cups. Anything above a B cup, you, you hate women. Ms. Marvel was introduced as a Pakistani American Muslim, Riri Williams, who replaced Iron Man. If you don't like her, it's because you're racist or sexist, but probably both. It, it, would, it would upset a racist. I, I think it would. <laughs> and for Maya, anyone who supports these changes is just a SJW, social justice warrior. Uh, black is your shield and a uh, woman is your sword. I don't know, fucking swords and shields. It all sounds so childish. It was time to bring some adults into the conversation. Assembled an elite team of proud social justice warriors. Loki, Harley Quinn, Green Latin, Sedusa. Doug. <laughs> Fantasy roleplay from the King of Queens, I assume. <laughs> Richard Meyer, uh, he believes that diversity is ruining the comic book industry. That's false. Yeah, that's yeah. false. He's not I mean, been reading comics. Why do you think some people can be so possessive of comic book characters? I think once you make a connection with a character that you like a lot, it it creates this sense of of ownership. If you see yourself in the character, it, it boosts your confidence. You don't feel like you're so alone in the world. There's been a reduction of breasts. <laughs> you know about this controversy? We don't want to always see ourselves overly objectified just to satisfy someone's weird fantasy. Okay, but what about like um, if He-Man had a dad bod? <laughs> so? I have the power <laughs> over the temperature in this house. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that politics can sometimes get in the way? Why can't we just have like a fun story about a superhero? I think the thing with comics is they've always followed the trends of yes. the political landscape. Take Superman. His whole thing is that he's an alien on a completely different planet and has adopted the country, America, as his home and is trying to fit in. That is the whole ethos. That is the whole, that is the whole ethos. I might be Superman. <laughs> <laughs> My SJWs are making good points, but I like finding common ground. Maybe we need some characters with traits that appeal to both sides. I brought a few ideas. Okay, a, um, a Batman, but he's Latino, and he only protects gated communities. <laughs> Fat Zimmerman. Oh. No? Okay. <laughs> okay, so how do you feel about this black Superman? Okay, a slightly less black Superman. Yeah, no, that's actually better. Black Panther's villain, Killmonger, but now it's played by a woman. 
And the way that she attacks the Black Panther is by calling the cops while he's trying to barbecue. <laughs> Permit monger. <laughs> we found one. We found one. All right, that might fix the characters, but Meyer and his crew aren't just fighting what's in comic books, they're also attacking women and people of colour who make comic books. They're hiring uh, people for the BuzzFeed. Look, we hired this um, overweight black woman. Isn't that exciting? You have said there's some women uh, sleeping their way to get into these positions? So I did one video. It's a common thing for my enemies to bring up. Literally sucked her way into the uh, comic industry. <laughs> is a dumpster. You called a woman a dumpster? Yeah. That's not good. <laughs> yeah, it was a bad idea. Even if you don't I believe that you're a racist or homophobic or sexist. Isn't a fear of yours that you were attracting some people who are? I don't really think about stuff like that that much. Right. Seems like you might want to start thinking about it, Richard. Other people are. What do you think of Richard Meyer? Uh, he's a garbage person. <laughs> he's a gar... You can say c*** on this show. <laughs> <laughs> Look, clearly Richard's upset. He can no longer pick up any comic book and instantly relate to the characters he sees. And that's a real feeling, because it's how women and minority groups have felt their entire lives. Wake the f up, Richard. The characters you don't like aren't written for you. You know what? I think I like this better how we started. 